So here's what's going on. Turkey spends millions of dollars on expensive lobbying firms that try to have a vote in the American Congress by a foreign government. I don't believe a foreign government has the right to have a vote in Congress. I think that's our right as citizens of the United States. The Armenian community has been very vigilant about getting our congressional representatives to recognize this as a genocide, to fight those lobbyists and, and the Turkish government's denialist claims. Now, the real reason they're trying to deny the genocide is because they don't really want to take responsibility for it or pay for it. It's not because they don't know what happened. It's in every archive of every nation in the world. For those of you who aren't aware, there was a, a genocide that did take place uh, against the Armenian people. It is one of these situations where we have seen a constant denial on the part of the Turkish government and others that this occurred. I think that one of the, the only ways that we can heal and make sure that instances of genocide don't happen in the future is acknowledging genocides that have happened in the past, holding those accountable responsible so that we can look with a clear eye at what we've done and how to stop it in the future. We need to stand up and recognize that that happened so that we don't do it again. Anytime we turn a blind eye to something like that, we make it more likely that it will happen again. The Armenian genocide needs to be recognized. Many presidential candidates, before they become president, make a statement saying that they will recognize the Armenian genocide as such. However, most presidents, once they actually get into office, shy away from that responsibility of calling it a genocide once they start dealing with Turkey, foreign policy issues. The resolution on the mass killings of Armenians beginning in 1915 is counterproductive. Congress has more important work to do than antagonizing a democratic ally in the Muslim world. President Obama comes to office with a stronger understanding of this issue than I think any president in modern history. Uh, this is a president who has said, and rightfully so, words matter. This word, genocide, matters more than almost all others because encompassed within that single word is a, a crime of enormous magnitude, the deliberate attempt to destroy an entire people. Denial of genocide is the final chapter of genocide. We don't want to be complicit in the final chapter of a genocide. So we need to speak plainly. This is a moral imperative. I firmly believe in President Obama and his statement about recognizing the Armenian genocide. So far in everything that he's done since, he, since he's become president, he's uh, put his money where his mouth is. His heart's in the right place. And I know he's got his work cut out for him. It's a difficult position to be in. However, the right thing to do is always one thing. The truth is always really one. There's, you can explain, you could fight against the truth and, and deny it and argue against it, but there's really only one truth. And that exists, it's here. And uh, I think he's gonna do the right thing. President Obama, please do the right thing. As president, I will recognize the Armenian genocide. As president, I will recognize the Armenian genocide.